Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. It's a beautiful sunny morning down here in the grow, uh, growing room here and I'm just looking at some of my plants that I've had growing in the Cracky Method for about uh, two or three months now. Some of them have done well, some of them are still um, going such as my cucumbers but I think it's time to do a final harvest and clean up a few things and focus on starting some new stuff. So over here I have my green bean plant and this has gone very well. Uh, let's see if we can see some beans here. So it is something that I just wanted to try to see if I could grow indoors. And as you can see it grew into a nice healthy plant. But at the end of the uh, day you only end up with a small feeding of green beans. So. Not sure if I would do it again, but I would still call this a successful experiment. Down here was some peas that I planted. They took off and they grew and they grew and they grew all the way up my my uh, rack here, but they never did bloom or produce. And I kind of neglected them. I didn't really do much other than refresh the water a few times, but they're pretty much uh, dead. So I'm going to uh, remove them and clean out the containers. The strawberry that I thought was taking off and uh, coming um, seems to have died off, so not sure why, but it's another one that's going to have to get um, cleaned up. And My uh, romaine lettuce that I had growing in this tub here kind of bolted and I um, hadn't been harvesting it regularly like I was through uh, Christmas not eating as many salads as I should be so I think I'm going to do a final harvest on this and start a new fresh batch as you can see I've been harvesting layers as they grow and there's still some really nice green leaves on here but I think it's just time to, uh, to pull them out and refresh this container clean the container I've also still got lots of arugula coming and lettuce growing in a couple of these. So I like to keep the lettuce going, ongoing. So I'm going to um, do some harvesting today. And I've got two new, uh, I think this is butter crunch lettuce started here. So I'll always have lettuce on the go. I've got another good three, four months before we'll be growing outside. So lettuce is something that I would like to keep going and have a good supply of. So this is my infamous Aero Garden tomato experiment. It's quite an ugly looking thing, but it has given me probably five or six tomatoes. And as you can see, this is the Roma plant that um, has probably three or four ripe romas. Now they're not very big, as you can see, they're just tiny, but um, I think it's time to retire these two plants. They are at about 90 some days, I believe. So unless you have a very large indoor growing space, um, I would say these are something probably best left to grow outdoors where you got a lot more space and can get a lot more uh, beans off of it. So these will be going into the garden um, next year. So so I've removed the peas from the, um, the side of my shelf here and they're making a nice little toy for my cat Ron to play with. But you can see they made a good mess all over the floor as well. They did not produce so um, growing peas indoors in the crack key method will probably not happen again. So when you pull the plants out of your um, containers here, you'll see that all the clay balls are kind of intertwined into the roots. So what I like to do is try to save as many as I can. I will be washing and bleaching all my clay balls so that I can reuse them again. From what I've read, these rock wells are not compostable. 
So I try to not put them into the compost. I will just throw them in the garbage. Okay, so there's the final harvest off this. That should get me through in the next few days. Let's see. Just chop these off. And these I did start in the rock wall. I'm just going to try to get all the clay balls out of here. the rock wall is and just put that right to the garbage so compost compost so these net pots and the clay balls will get washed I am just going to go get rid of this water. Okay, so I have officially pulled the plug on my two arrow garden tomatoes I have grown here. I was about to remove it and I see the uh, my cucumelon has attached itself to the to the back, so I'm just going to carefully remove all those and uh, we're going to tackle the harvesting and cleaning of the arrow garden. So we have five of them, not very big. So as you can see, there's a lot of dried, crusty stuff here from the hydroponic nutrients kind of spilling over and drying. So there's gonna be a lot of cleaning involved here. They have quite heavy stalks, so kind of hard feels bad doing this but there's the first plant this was the uh, this was the Roma tomato one and the Russian Saskatchewan here had I kind of hacked it down quite a bit and pruned it but again it still had lots of blooms coming so you can take this apart there is a cord here at the back and lift off the tank so you can remove it from this base here so this part will just need a little bit of a wipe down we can get it out of the way so I'm going to try pulling these out so these are the plastic cones that come with the arrow garden when you first buy it and instead of using the expensive pods replacement pods that they want you to buy I just used some Rockwell to start the seeds and it worked good so I'm going to try and clean these and reuse these Ooh, we'll just pull the top off look at that there is all the roots from two tomatoes. So I think it'll be easier if I cut it down here. It smells so good. It just smells like fresh tomatoes. Trying to cut through the roots without cutting the these plastic uh, cones that the roots or that the seeds were started in. Okay, so there's what one looks like there. So we remove the balls. I just put a layer of them at the top to keep the light out. 
And then we got a really hard ball of roots in here. Not sure the best way maybe to push. Oh, yeah. This might be the easiest way is just to push down. Or not. Go at it with my scissors here. Yeah, just need to chop through it and then it comes out. So we still have a bit of the stock here in some of the rock wall. This rock wall does break down pretty good, but I'm just gonna toss it into the garbage. And this should be able to wash it and sterilize it and reuse it again. So we'll the next one, and maybe this one will go a little faster now that I got the technique figured out. Just push. Couple more chops here. There we go. So now what we have left here is this lid, which should be easy enough to clean. I'll just put it in the sink and use a little scrub brush on it. Move all the roots. On the bottom part here, we have the, all the tomato roots. I'll just go down. Okay, so not so bad. Again, just some uh, water, a little bleach, and a scrub brush. Should be able to get this arrow garden cleaned up and back in action in no time. Okay, so we have finished harvesting our lettuce, some beans, and tomatoes. We also uh, got rid of the pea plants and the strawberry, I guess. So from that, all of this here can be washed, sterilized, and reused again. All of this will go into the compost. And this is all that's going to go into the garbage. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so I have the clay balls uh, just soaking here in a solution of water and some vinegar. And I use a green bleach product such as this. You can use regular bleach, but I prefer to try and use something more um, organic and chemical free. So. I've got some of the splash of that and probably half a cup of vinegar in here. So I'm just going to soak them, try to get the, all the chunks of uh, leaves and stuff to soak, come to the surface and I'll strain them out. And then I um, just strain it like this. And I would say to not dump your water down the drain because the residue off of these clay balls um, can clog your, your pipes or drains so I would suggest that you dump your water outside. Okay, so everything is cleaned up and we are ready to do some more growing. So time to go through the seeds and get some more sprouting so we can uh, grow some more indoor food. I hope you found this uh, video helpful and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when a new one is up on the channel. Thanks for joining me.